Compilation. Okay, bye. Are you winning, Snum? I'm trying my best, and that's what matters. Well, are you having a fun time, Snum? Well, very much so, yes. You gotta understand, I don't post on here to gain followers. I do it to empty my mind ruthlessly each day so I don't go insane. Me posting about a character is just me shaking my brain upside down to make sure everything comes out. British cat girls be like, Hello? Hello, governor? I hate this. You gotta walk in rooms like God sent ya. As a punishment to the people already there. I don't know why Old Navy is literally always ahead of the game in terms of Uncanny Valley plus retail horror. Free them. Orc facts. The green color is not chlorophyll. They cannot usually photosynthesize, but sometimes they can. My cousin Lorbish can photosynthesize. Orc facts. Lorbish can photosynthesize. The funniest thing about Teen Titans cartoons is how they all call each other by their code names, and it's because despite living together, they don't know each other's real names. Titans Tower was a Discord server. Hate how links change color after you click them, like they're dirty now. My purple little fingerprints are all over the Wikipedia. Life's short, guys. So why not make a bonfire and scream at it? Maybe lay on some grass and scream at the stars. Turn yourself into a screaming mound of mouths. I may have a problem. Y you guys don't have to tell me. <sighs> Tumblr's great. It's like a journal, but with PvP. Why? Is this true? Glowing hot metal is such a touchable shade of orange. I'm a welder, and this, let me tell you, this does not go away. If you're around a lot of hot metal, it's actually worse. OP isn't a bad term per se, but it is a warning sign that your post has left your circle of mutuals. Which is never good. Like a canary in a coal mine. Shunned from the weed circle at a party after asking for a quick honk on that bobo. Absolutely no stoner alive would shun you for that. It'd be like, hell yeah, brother, this bobo's been on fire waiting for the honk of a century. And you look like the man for the job. Peace and love on planet Earth. All right, this one's for my neurodivergent friends who need the affirmation. The right people will not merely tolerate your differences. The right people will appreciate you for your differences. This appreciation can take many forms. I know the ND life can get lonely and uncertain, but there will be people who enjoy your flavor weird. And if they don't, they're not the right people. All right? All right. Three dollars in bank account. <clears throat> Minimalism. More like millennialism. Hey! Who said you can make this relatable? Eat dirt! When I say OMG, I don't mean oh my god. I mean OMG. There's a difference. Listen, I don't care what you think. Those women singing to me on the rocks are beautiful, and I'm going to see them. I mean, look at this one. Really all girls want is to live in a sanctum of some kind with their wife. You know who else wants to live in a sanctum of some kind with their wife? Not now, muscle man, there's been a murder and we have to solve it. You know who else has to solve it? A kid is dead, muscle man! What did you do to my post?! Um, uh... Uh, a YouTuber making five plus hour long video essays on media, but it's about completely fake shows and they're making stuff up on the spot. Thank you. I'm going to steal this. The moon is made of cheese. Did you know? Cheese is made of moon. Millennial culture is having two wildly different conversations with the same person on two different apps at the exact same time. Conversation one, Jake Barker. Conversation two. That's why I think I'm so afraid of making myself vulnerable because my father taught me I could never, ever truly trust anyone. I do not want my fantasy media to be realistic. I want my fantasy media to be convincing. Thank you. Thank you. I am so sick of being a person. I'm gonna go into the woods and lay down in the dirt and become a geological feature. And none of you are powerful enough to stop me. They need to make an app for the mentally ill. Um, honey. You're on it right now. Okay, listen, but your blog isn't fully developed until you're like 25. I mean, when you think about it, the blog is an extension of your brain. 
So the logic adds up. It's okay to keep secrets. Everyone has some skeletons in the closet. Race in the attic, ghosts in the bedrooms, mummies in the kitchens, enchanted armor on the stairs, slime in the basements, maybe a giant spider in the backyard, beholder or two of the garage, vampires are also in the closet. My house is very unsafe. The secret to being a cool adult is to wear things that your younger self wanted to wear but couldn't and to do things that your younger self wanted to do but couldn't. I have found out that I actually like myself and I like my style and I am annoying and I will make it everyone else's problem. If God wanted you to live a peaceful life, he wouldn't have put me here. Damn, that's a raw line. I had a dream that the new lingo was Big Yeet and it meant something like mood and I hate it. LP, this post is a big yeet. How the fuck does anyone learn English nowadays when we speak like this? No one in Spider-Man has a New York accent, and I take it upon myself to constantly call him Spider-Man. Peter Parker. It's like y'all slept on Kingpin. It's very easy to say that magic doesn't exist, but ultimately computers work by channeling lightning through a series of crystals. So who's really to say? Laying and kicking my feet like a movie teen with a crush, but I'm just looking at a line of ants do their thing. <sighs> Beautiful. Attracting a partner who doesn't need to be saved forces you to see your inherent values outside of what you can do for them. That can be difficult for someone who is used to saving others and has centered their self-worth and their identity around sacrifice. This is... this is kind of a heavy truth. Well, you didn't need to say it like that. Damn! I believe in God. Because cats exist, and no godless world would leave us alone with no cats. I might be onto something here. Internet friends are kind of like illegally downloaded friends. You don't get the physical copy, but you still get all the great content. I illegally downloaded you all. I just hit 27 of these little bastards around the house, and I'm waiting for my parents' reaction. Why the shit is there a chicken in my coffee cup? The first chicken has been found. <laughs> Are y'all ready for the hottest take on this website yet? 83 face is just OO on its side. Reblock me, you cowards! Andy, my man, welcome back. Sorry we overloaded your old computer with too much Tumblr stuff. Let's hope this doesn't happen to the second one, am I right? Matching Tumblr icons are just friendship bracelets for geeks. You remember those? Friendship bracelet's still a thing? I need to know. The grind never starts. I'm sleeping. Wow. I want that energy. I just saw a only one bed fic with the major character death warning? Well, I guess that's one way to solve that problem. This bed ain't big enough for the both of us. Aesthetic. Dragon Ball characters photoshopped into slice of life animes. That's... That's beautiful. Andy, do it for Cosmic Wonders. It has not been ten hours since I revamped, and already I am fueled with unstoppable power. I'm going to fight every one of you, and I am going to lose. But then I'll win when you least expect it. The Lord giveth, and the Lord... Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> Two hops this time. <laughs> Life's too short not to eat devastating, irrational amounts of cheese. Well, we found the white person on Tumblr. I have mastered the art of stressing out and not caring whatsoever simultaneously. I call it... ADHD. <laughs> I went on a hero's journey within the span of one hour this afternoon. If you even care. Well, he's a fine young man. If you overlook the atrocities... You know... Don't worry about it. I once saw someone pay for something with a ring connected to Apple Pay, and I was just tipsy enough, I thought they punched the card machine and it worked. What if it didn't? We'll never know. Ah, uh, please don't fret so much, Master Dialga. Even your siblings, Palkia and Gerbasia, are no threat to your continued survival. Giratina! Edit post! Edit post! Edit post! At the grocery store. Me, can you give me x squared plus 4y of tomatoes and 2 times x squared plus axy to the power of 3 potatoes, please? I, I, I don't understand. Well, I don't give a fuck. I didn't study in vain. Those are polynomials. You asked for a never-ending curve of tomatoes. Got a big pot of swastika to make. Being on a costumed superhero team is like, you are my dearest friends. We fought side by side a hundred times. 
We know each other's most intimate strengths and weaknesses. I know you more completely than anyone else in my life. We can communicate with a word, a glance, a jester. I don't know your name. I've never seen the upper half of your face. And I love you. This is what working retail during the pandemic is like. Different half of the face. Yeah, that's... That's the only difference. Today I learned that the saxophone was invented only in 1846 by Adolf Sax. As a child, he survived a three-story fall, a gunpowder explosion, drinking a bowl of sulfuric water, a near poisoning due to furniture varnish, and falling into a speeding river. His neighbors called him Little Sax the Ghost. God really didn't want the saxophone invented. And yet here we have it. In fact, Andy, put up your favorite saxophone noise. My new, totally uneducated guess for why human tell stories is to keep them from getting bored and cranky while following a gazelle for four hours. No deeper mystery or meaning. Some folk need a distraction while they tried to catch dinner, so they just made some shit up. The end. The equivalent of listening and singing the songs on your way home so you don't fall asleep at the wheel. Ah, for millennia upon millennia, humans have had to yell creatively to keep on task. Yeah, that sounds about right. Teacher, why are you laughing? No reason. My brain. Local police. Bust a nut. <laughs> well, the good news, we finally have solid confirmation on how gif is pronounced. The bad news, the old English word gif is pronounced yif. No. Yes. Yes! This is the language equivalent of King Solomon suggesting cutting the baby in half. Jess discovered the joy of pronouncing all words ending with cles like Heracles. Obstacles, tentacles, mortocycles, testicles, micropodicles, popsicles, debacles. Ah, I love words and sounds. Yet don't mind me, I'm just looking for inspiration for my swords and sandals campaign. Testicles. Son of Bophides, the demigod who was invincible in all but his genitals. Thus was the tragedy of Bophides' nuts. <laughs> ah! Andy put up the biggest god of your god! Ha! <laughs> got <he. laughs> So, have you ever been through like a string of fandoms and you decided your favorite characters for each one? There will come a day when you list all of your faves from each fandom side by side and look at them carefully and realize you have a type. Ah oh, yes, the dead ones. The hot person urged to have little braids like Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. Please, he's given me gender envy since I was nine years old. Feminine urge this, masculine urge that. Let's stop being weird about gender online for a second and focus on what's important. The European urge to eat a whole loaf of bread. I mean, I guess I could try dressing as an actual member of society instead of a disheveled, hungover swamp witch, but the question is, why? Oh, that's a good boy. Eat your cereals. No one's ever gonna really truly get you, but that's okay, because you get you, and you get to have this secret magical world that is entirely your own in the expanse of your imagination. Yeah. Ugh, touching grass is not enough. I need to touch Yellowstone's superheated prismatic acid pool. Ugh, that's the stuff, man! You know what? That looks cozy. Andy, throw me in there! This was a mistake. Gaze long enough into the abyss. And eventually, the abyss gazes back. The abyss heard the can opener. The unstoppable force, ADHD, versus the immovable object, also ADHD. You know, Blank-182 and Sum-41 should combine to become Slunk-223. Yeah. I just heard my sister called Wilford Wharfstash. Wilf the Dilf. And I think God needs to send another flood. Markiplier, I'm so sorry. Wait, hold on, let me put away fucking Henry the Ace milk. Where... Where did you get the milk? Uh, please do cite the deep magic to me, actually. I may have been there when it was written, but I am very forgetful. I forgo. Okay, listen. 
To everyone running here for refuge from Twitter since they're selling it to Elon Musk, welcome. In order to survive here, you must sacrifice one of your monsters or discard your entire hand. Holy shit, this blew up. Uh, be sure to follow my- No, 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 no. We don't do that here. The only reason you know this post was made today is because Musk announced he was buying it today. You can reblog posts made 10 years ago and they will still feel evergreen. And no matter how old the post is, I will be able to draw two cards from my deck. You know who else will be able to draw two cards from their deck? That... Th that's against the rules, isn't it? Not when I activate my trap card! My ma- Okay, when I was little, a strange man stepped out of a time machine and punched me for no reason. So I've worked all my life to invent a time machine of my own, and I'm going back to when he was little, and we'll see how he likes the taste of his own medicine! <laughs> when someone has taken in their bio, it's because they've been consumed by the fog. Alright, stop scrolling. Bet you've never seen a baby toucan. Aww. It looks unfinished. <laughs> when you realize the YouTuber slash character you've been hyperfixated on is slowly becoming a permanent part of your personality whether you like it or not. Uh, I love that my Tumblr dashboard is in chronological order. I get to read fanfics and reactions, but in reverse order. It's like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Hello, people running from Twitter. Friendly reminder to, one, reblog art and fix. The algorithm on this site relies on reblogs to boost content, so go ham with it. Two, not leave your blog blank, because this website sucks. Blank blogs are usually assumed to be bots of some kind, so people will block on reflex. Three, be nice. Y'all are coming into our house, and most of us are fine with having you here, but if you start causing a ruckus, we will not quickly let that happen. Mm -hmm. I can't take it anymore. God made a baby lynx without any regards for proportions, and I can't stop thinking about it. Look at this! He feet too big for he goddamn he! A Canadian visits America and gets held at gunpoint by a stranger. The stranger says, Give me all your money and I'll let you live. The Canadian replies gleefully, Oh, you must be what they call a doctor. <laughs> Got him. Science has confirmed that dogs love us back because they get the same rush of oxytocin when they look at us that we get when we look at them. Are you telling me that dogs are looking up to us and think, Oh my god, what an adorable fucking cutie pie. A while ago, I read an article about how dogs love us back, but recognize that we're different from them. While cats see us as bigger and clumsier than them, but do not consider us different. Dog. I am fuzzy creature, and you are different adorable creature, and I love you! Cats. I am lanky and graceful, and you are a giant mess. This is why cats occasionally try to bathe and feed us. Okay, but it's true. Cats see us as giant, dumb, hairless babies. That's why they bring us half-dead prey, to teach us how to hunt and eat properly. That's also why they try to attack when we rub their bellies. That's how parent cats teach kittens to defend themselves. That's also why they meow. Cats communicate with other adults or a frequency we can't hear, but meow at kittens because their ears aren't fully developed. They even specialize the set of meows they use only for humans, because we are especially deaf babies. We are all of us dumb kittens. Today I learned that I am a dumb kitten. I can totally live with that. Baby girl, I'm popping joints that paleontologists don't even know about shit. No, fuck, I meant chiropractors. Yo, your mama's so old, her chiropractor is a paleontologist. Got him! So I just found out that stoats hunt twice the size of them like rabbits by aggressively and eccentrically dancing around it with their little slinky rigatoni bodies so it can confuse the absolute fuck out of its prey until it can get close enough to jump on its back like some Shadow of the Colossus shit and take it down. Oh my god, it's called the Weasel War Dance and they just go off the shits! Ape shit little animals! <laughs> I kind of want to see videos now of these guys doing their war dance while Shadow of the Colossus music is playing. Andy, that's entirely up to you if you want to do that. My gender is my sleep. So, almost not existent? Delayed for many hours? Inconsistent? Here's the thing. TikTok has a ton of issues with censorship. Instagram's algorithm is horrible. Facebook is trash. Tumblr is... 
There, DeviantArt is way too niche. Discords can be very close communities. Every startup platform dies in weeks. Where else do artists go? I'm sorry, Tumblr's cardinal sin is being Tumblr? It's a feature, not a bug. Huh? Huh? Achoo! <gasps> Zom, are you sick? Uh, a bit. I was outside too long. Yo! Who made my child sick? No. 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 Don't blame me, please! Hmm, sounds like something a smoothie would say. Hey, Pucky. What's 22 minus 8? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, I need to go do math. Uh, I'm not done yet, but I can guarantee it's less than 20. Uh, okay. I'm done with the math. It's 13. Ooh, so close. I'm pretty certain I'll trigger a cutscene if I get too close to this cat. Yeah, I would save the game before approaching this cat. Make sure your potions are ready. Pretty sure it's an Elden Ring boss. Foul tarnished. Dunkleostis means so much to me. It means Dunkle's bones. Alright, shout out to Dunkle for turning his bones into the best creatures. Look at that thing. Masterpiece. Can someone explain to me why it's perfectly acceptable to read all day, to garden all day, to be at the pool all day, to work all day, to shop all day, to be out with friends all day, but the minute you decide to sit at a computer or console and game all day, suddenly you're wasting your life? The computer glows because it's full of Satan. Ah, yes, this. Totally logical. Behold, Robot Lobster. But why? Robster. A lycanthrope transforms in front of his friend for the first time. Oh my god, says his friend. You've just turned into a wolf. Yes, he replies. I am aware. <laughs> so, it's the month of May, huh? Well, if you replace the M in May with G, well, you may be surprised at what you find. <laughs> ha! Gay! Hey, want to see the stupidest thing that made me laugh today? Pelvis. Oh, so that's why he can shake his hips so good. Today I learned that due to altitude, your taste bud sensitivity to salts and sweets are reduced by 30%. And because 80% of what people think is taste is actually smell, the 12% humidity in a pressurized airplane cabin causes odor receptors not to function. Food tastes twice as bland than on the ground. Finally, the deal with airline food. Jerry Seinfeld's career's doomed. It's so cute when a really fat bumblebee comes and bops against the window and immediately bumbles away like, Oh, dearie me, I'm terribly sorry. That wasn't where I should have been going. <laughs> what a silly little sausage I am. <laughs> when you have fake conversations in your head, do you sometimes say random sentences out loud too? I was tying my shoes and said very sternly and loudly, I do know how ants work, fucker! This may be the most relatable thing I've ever read. Every fan fiction is just... I'm being so creative and original. I'm plagiarizing everyone by accident. I'm a genius. I'm cringe. I'm too angsty. I'm too cheesy. This is not in character. It doesn't matter that it's not in character because these are my characters now. I love my hobby. And this is the worst possible use of my time. I'm seeking validation. I'm projecting my own personal problems onto the story and I'm barely hiding it. I know so many words and I'm using all of them wrong. I'm on Tumblr posting about it instead of writing it! Wow. Wow. Felt that one in my bones. Um, there are breasts on my roof scampering about. Ugh, wretched. They- They're what? Beast, 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 beast! I meant beast! No, 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 it's too late, it's too late. Andy has already photoshopped big manly anime titties on your roof as we speak. Today I learned grasshoppers are older than grass, having evolved roughly 250 million years ago. Grasshoppers sometime about 55 to 66 million years ago. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Hands down, this is my favorite picture ever. The ancient cry has been answered. Can has. <gasps> Can has! Someone's not gonna understand this and I will finally have to face my own mortality. Today I learned that when a domestic pig gets out into the wild, it will revert to a wild state in a matter of months, growing tusks, a hairy coat, and becoming more aggressive. 
Now excuse me while I disappear into the wild and revert into a great ape. Are you saying humans are domestic apes? Are, are we not? Yeah, Bigfoot is just a man who made a choice. What is Darth Vader's favorite month? Imperial March. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Who the fuck submitted one of my posts to PM Seymour? Just let me and my tiny handful of followers be. My posts are me screaming my thoughts in a brick wall, and it's very therapeutic. It's okay. It's okay. That's what we're all using Tumblr for.